I'm here on step one of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design certificates fourth project, Learn HTML Forms by Building a Registration Form. So right here, we can kind of see this is what we're going to end up with at the end. This is our final product. It's a form where we can submit information and maybe upload a profile picture and then um, definitely submit the form. You can see it looks pretty nice. There's definitely a good amount of CSS. So let's just hop right in. All right. So the first thing we have to do on a, on a blank HTML page, index.html here, that's what the file name is called. You can see um, we need to make sure the browser knows we're writing HTML. So we'll set the doc type. Next, we have to um, create some HTML tags for everything to go inside of. And we're going to specify that we're um, using the English language on this page. Next, we need some head and body elements. If you can remember, head um, doesn't actually, anything inside of the head isn't um, going to be shown here. It's going to kind of be about the page. It might be the title. It might be some metadata. Um, and the body is everything that's actually going to be displayed here on the right. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, set the title of the page. And we're just going to call it registration form. And so if you remember, the title is the thing that we see kind of up here. Right here, it says learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step four, freecodecamp.org. That is... Um, on our page, it would just say registration form. And next we have to specify that we are using the UTF-8 uh, character set. So we're gonna create a meta element and we are going to add the attribute char set and make sure it's UTF-8. This is gonna be really helpful um, in cases where we might use an accent or something just to make sure everything shows up the, the way we intended. Next, we're gonna link a style sheet. So we can have our CSS, we can make our page look pretty instead of just whatever it's default. So um, the relationship is going to be a style sheet. And we have to actually give the location of the page, which is just styles.css. Okay, so next um, we're gonna create the first header, which is h1. That's heading one, it's the one that we start with. It's kind of like the title of the page and, and it's registration form, which is um, the same thing that is our title here. So both of them are set to the same. Um, and next we're gonna just kind of give some information about what even is this page about. We're gonna create a paragraph that just has some just kind of a descriptor. Please fill out this form with the required information, just some instructions for what to do. And next we're gonna start changing the style just a little bit. So we're gonna target the body. We're gonna, everything, um, we're just, yeah, that's what the, the target is. Um, and we're gonna change the width. We want it to be 100%. If I can, there we go. And um, we're gonna change the height, 100 um, vertical height. I think is um, what VH is, and um, there we go. And next, um, one thing that happens in some browsers is the margin is not actually zero um, by default, so we wanna make sure that it is by specifying it ourselves and just setting margin to zero. If you can see on this page right here, it did change. So if we go back, that's how it was before. If we had, So there actually was some margin by default in this browser. Next, we're going to change the colors. So we want to change the background color to this hex value right here. If you can see, it's pretty dark. We can't really read the text. It's black. So we're going to just change the color of the text by changing the color to this value, which is very close to white. And there we go. 